Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Miami, Florida, where Joey's Surreal Camera is doing a revenge audit against uh, the Dr. Martin Luther King office building with Liberty Troll and Lana from J-Town Press as they believe that just because a building is privately owned and leases office space to the government, that automatically makes it a publicly owned building. I don't know where they get that BS from, but will they get access to the areas that they believe are government offices? Well, let's find out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? The address right there, I'm out with uh, J-Town Press, Liberty Troll. And I'm gonna do a little revisit here. What is it, Nakongo? Evil is coming. A few moments later. Yeah, exactly. Why? What's up? Is this restricted? You have to check in to go in. Check in where? At the front desk. You have to give your your ID ID. You need your ID. No, it's not. So what law is that? You have to show your government issued ID. You cannot go up. Don't, don't touch her, bro. I'm not touching you. I'm telling you, you cannot go up. Dude, we just want to take video. That's it. Yeah, we don't need to show ID to go to go up. There's not a law. There's not a law, bro. You cannot go up. Yes, we can, dude. You cannot. You guys are just making up your own policy, your own laws. It doesn't work. That's not the way it works, bro. So your ID is checking just, at the front desk, sir. We're doing it. And we can let you go. We're, we're and following you the law. You're we're breaking the, the door. Here, dude. Come on, man. We're following the law. Uh, we just want to take right? some video, dude. That's all we're doing. Dude. Okay. Did you hear what Zacky Boy just said a few moments ago? You're assuming everybody has an ID card. Zacky Boy, were you born this stupid or did you have to actually work on it? Because these days you can't go really go anywhere at all without having some form of ID to get some form of service out of any place. You got to have an ID to get uh, alcohol. You got to have an ID to rent a car. You got to have an ID to vote. Well, at least where I uh, live, you have to have an ID to vote. You have to have an ID to get government assistance a lot of the time. Oh my goodness, dude. You must be the thing that crawled out from underneath the rock recently. We don't have to show ID for that. What's your name? What's your name, sir? My name doesn't matter. You work here? You're the public servant, right? You guys are going to... Sir, I'm the public servant. I can take sir. you that. Well, you, want to do well, work, you work out... I do not work for the you, county. You well, you're over here working in a, in a government building, you know. My, my taxes right. pay your So you, you, you locked up the freaking elevator? Hey, there's three of us and there's three elevators. Dude, that's crazy. Come on, man. You guys are ridiculous, dude. We just want to take video, bro. They're not gonna let. This is what they did to me last time, dude. That's crazy. You, this is ridiculous, dude. Keep turning it off. Huh? Yeah, turn it back on. No. No. You know, if it wasn't going to desecrate the memory of Mo Howard, Curly Howard, Larry Fine. Shimp Howard and Joe Besser, I would say we found our new set of Three Stooges. But you know what? They're nowhere near as funny as the originals. And, well, I don't think they ever will be. <laughs> Yo, this, this is crazy. Why do you guys do that, dude? Dude, they're, they're calling the cops to chance pass us, he just said. No, it's not. The building is private, but you know who leases it? The government. So that makes it, pro that makes it public, dude. It's not a private building. 
Hey, hey, dumbass, uh, could you please explain how that works legally, considering that I've never heard of such a thing? I mean, you lease a piece of property, it's not yours, it belongs to the original owner. Thus, it is not a public building just because the government leases an office or two or a few offices or anything like that. It does not automatically become a public entity building. We would have been on our way, not bothering nobody, we would have left. Oh, it doesn't? So the, the, these government offices, they're not government right here? They're government offices. Okay, so that's it. It makes this public. This makes this public. Public they access, lease bro. The spaces that they're in. They nah, bro. Everything else access. is controlled. So this is a private. Bro this is a private lobby. This is a owner's lobby. The lobby. The lobby is maintained. By Who the pays owners. the lobby here? Who pays this building? They pay for the space. Who's that they? they? In. Who's they? Miami. Day. Exactly. That people pay for that. So this is our space, no. our building. We have to have public access. No. Yeah, it's, yeah, it is. They pay for the space that they're sitting in. That exactly. That the offices in. They do not pay for How the does this building areas. run? Well, what, well, what money? They do not pay for the common areas. Well, what money pays for the, what? This building is run by our tax dollars, period. Uh, no, Joey. Uh, he just said there are some offices that are leased out to the government. Uh, so that means there are a few government offices in this building, which may, doesn't exactly make it a, a public building, you fool. In fact, I wonder how many other offices are leased out to other co companies and everything like that. Kind of makes you wonder how, what's the percentage of the building that's leased out to government organizations and uh, private organizations. What's the ratio? Uh, yeah. D did you ever bother to think about that, Joey? No, of course not. You're too thick-headed to figure that out. Which brings me to another point. If your hypothesis is true that because the government or some other organization leases out office space, that automatically makes the whole building theirs. Well, if one other office space is leased out to a private organization, then, then does that mean that the whole building belongs to that uh, particular organization or what? Or does the owner not have any say over what goes over goes on in his building? No. No? So who pays this building? The owner. Who's the owner? The owner's private? The owner is the private owner, yes. So he pays, he, he does the bills here? He, he pays, pays with his he money? He pays for... Nah, you're looking like a fool, bro. Everything that's in the common area. Nah. This is open to the public, period. We can go upstairs no, and record. Yes, we can. check in. Now this the, the rules doesn't trump what the law is. You have to follow. You guys caught the cops? I told you, this is exactly what they did to me last time. Oh, look at the bumbling fool, Joey Surreal Camera, getting all butthurt at that. His little revenge audit isn't exactly working out in his favor. Well, maybe I should be a little bit generous and give him a free sample of my butthurt cream whenever this is all over with. What do you think, guys? <laughs> look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry? Exactly what they did to me last time. We just want to take video. That's it. That's ridiculous. Go ahead. Right. What's your name, sir? Eddie. Eddie, nice to meet you. You're the first one to identify yourself. Yeah, I know. That's crazy. Are you, the, are you their supervisor? No. Now, who's the supervisor? No, in this building. There's you know, kind of makes you wonder about these stooges right here. Why haven't they ever found themselves a real job? Oh, yeah, that's right. Their criminal records, their personality issues, and everything else like that. Like little Joey right here. He's got such a... Uh, lengthy criminal history that it kind of makes you wonder how he's managed to make it through life oh yeah that's right now i remember in the case of joey here uh his mother supports him and zacky boy is a uh venom fang x fanboy reject and well lana well 
We all know what's going on with Lana, and uh, we just want to stay away from that. Is there a supervisor in this building? You guys are all the same. You all have the same. Yeah, you can take the elevator. Oh, okay. So this guy, the, the tall gentleman right here, he's, he's not the supervisor. No. Yo, I'm not going to go. Don't, don't touch it. You have to check in. Don't touch it. You have to check in. Don't touch it. Yo, you guys are. You have to check in. We don't have to check in a public building. These people are. Why? You can't get in. You have the cops because they're now trespassing. Trespassing? For what crime? I'm trying to go up to the. Yeah, we're just trying to go up there and we got to conduct business. That's it. You guys don't know nothing about the law here, really. Joey, how many times have I uh, called out all your BS on the fact that you don't know anything about the law yourself? You go into uh, schools and think that you have the right to film in them, even though the school safety zone law in Florida applies to everybody, you freaking dumbass. So your sorry ass gets uh, trespassed from the uh, local schools. So, yeah, dude, you need to grow up. Dude, we just want to go and conduct business upstairs. That's it, dude. It's crazy, dude. Now that they've inconvenienced everybody in the building by acting like a bunch of spoiled, petulant little children, they're going to uh, bypass the elevators to get to the stairs to try to access the rest of the building. But something tells me that won't work either. It's locked. The who? The her? You can leave it, you can leave it locked, it's fine. I can let you up, but I can't let them up. They have to check in if they want to go up. <laughs> Dude, you're the biggest clown in the whole building, dude. Straight up. That's it. You're gonna trespass us from a, from a, from a public building without committing a crime. We'll see about that. What what a sad, pathetic existence you must have to be a frauditor and to be a blight on society, to uh, inconvenience everybody in sight and just laugh about it. Yeah, you're real freedom fighters, aren't you? He's the main star of that in my video last time. The oh, really? Yeah. Are you a supervisor, sir? Hey, David. David. Hey, David. Nice to meet you, sir. All right, so, uh, appreciate you identifying yourself. We're just trying to go into the public accessible areas in this building, which we have a right to do without having to identify ourselves, which would be a rendition of our Fourth Amendment right. So, you guys are violating our rights to enter into our building. Which we don't appreciate. The face. Or waiting areas upstairs. You have access to the first floor. 
now the video pretty much ends right here with Joey doing a little commentary on uh, how the police never showed up and they sat there for 30 minutes of where, where nothing else ever happened. And basically they were still denied access to the parts of the building they wanted to get into, you know, because it's a privately owned building that can control their own office spaces. Joey, you really need to get a clue. All three of you do. Now, I can't give you a clue on this one because you just have to have a brain to have a clue. But what I can give you is a case of uh, BHK's butthurt cream. You can share it between yourselves. I mean, the elves uh, specially formulated this just for the three of you. The Three Stooges formula in this particular case, which is a rare variety. I don't know what they put into it, but I don't think this will give you the hemorrhoids that the other ones will. But you know what? You never know. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?